So another kind of trick you can do in Google Sheets is actually to take a data set like what you see on my screen right now uh, and actually use a second tab. Now let's say that data was a lot bigger than what you see there. Um, let's say I wanted to filter it out based on maybe multiple criteria, but I wanna set this up so other people can use it very easily because I know if I wanna do a filter equation, so let's do it right now. So I can say equals filter, put my parentheses in there, and then I get my equation. So I wanna filter the data. So I'm gonna go back to my sheet, I'm gonna select here, and I'm gonna select my data. I'm gonna put a comma, and now it's the condition. So let's say in this case, I wanted the teacher to be equal to Davis. So I put equals, uh, quotation marks, Davis, and my quotation marks, and let's say I also wanted the grade level so we'll now select the grade level is equal to, let's say nine. So I then put my close parenthesis, close parenthesis and enter. And of course, only one student fits that criteria, but I want to set this up. So if I want to share this with somebody else, let's say another teacher or anybody for that matter, and I want to make it as easy possible for them to filter out what they want. So there's actually something I'm doing right now for a giant list of data that I have for our teachers to use, uh, depending on what students are selecting for them. So they're gonna be able to go back and just select their name and it'll pre-populate with all the data they want. So it's actually pretty simple. So we're gonna go here and in my teacher column, so I go back to my main data, there's only three options in here. So what I can do is I can create a little drop down here so that they get to choose from what they want. So I'm gonna right click this, I'm gonna go down to data validation and we're gonna see criteria list from a range, but I'm gonna do a list of items. So I could go list from a range if I had the list of unique values and there's a video showing how to do unique values there. But in this case, it's actually very easy. So I could just type it out, Troy, Davis, and Darren, those are my three people. So I'm gonna show the drop down the list in a cell. I'm gonna kind of show the warning if it's not there, and I'm gonna hit save. So now the nice thing here, if, if I click this drop down, you can see I can switch between those three. I can pick it from what I want. Now I can use this with my filter equation. I'm gonna go back to my filter equation here, and so where you see where the main data. Now that's the teacher column is equal to Davis. I could actually say it's equal to cell B1. So I'm actually going to delete Davis. And I say B1, and now I'm gonna hit enter. Now it says not applicable. But if I go down here to my drop down, you see it works really, really well. I can even do this for multiple criteria. So let's say I wanted to set the grade in here. Again, I right click, go down to data validation. Uh, if I had a list, let's say I want to do this, I would just click the little box here and then I could, you know, select the list of values to create the drop down. So if again, if I had a separate tab with all my unique values for the teachers or the grades, I could just do that. I'm going to hit cancel because that's not what I want. It's easier for me because I only have four options, list of items. So 9, 10, 11, and 12. So those are my four options in there. Just hit save. And again, I can select nine now if i go back to my filter equation where you see the main data now this one was equal to the grade level on my previous sheet so again main data e2 column e2 is grade now i can go back here instead of saying nine i could say this is set to b3 whoops sorry a little trouble typing today apparently or b2 sorry my box was hiding my value so b2 and you can see it fits there now this makes it easy because what I can do now is go back to teacher and let's say I want to see, does Troy have any ninth graders? No. Does Troy have any 10th graders? Then they populate right away. So that's an easy way. Again, all I do is take that filter equation and instead of putting in the value I want to filter with, I'm going to put it to another cell. And I can use the conditional formatting again. So I right click. Uh, sorry, data validation, not conditional for data validation to get a list there. And it becomes a nice little drop down list. Um, and so you can set this up, especially when you're trying to share a lot of information with other people, you're probably going to want to just make it easy for them to find the information they want. But using these cells, I can make it very easy. Now, here's my last little tip I'll give you. What I typically do if I'm sharing this information is I will color code stuff. Red, that's supposed to be red do not touch, 
and then green is what they can change. Um, and I do this just to make it easier so they know if they're not really used to dealing with Google Sheets, they can easily then just click those drop downs in there, select their data and move on. Um, the other thing I would suggest you do here is if you want to sort this according to something like say maybe I want to sort by class period, maybe I want to sort by last name, put a sort function around your filter. So you can just hit equals sort. You're going to say your whole filter equation. Put parentheses around it and then figure out which column you want to sort by. So let's say I wanted to do it by column two and false would be descending. Again, there's another video on my site for that. You can see easily sorts it every single time. So this is an easy way. If you have a lot of data like I do over on my other computer here, which you have to share with a lot of people and you want to just make it so they can find their data very quickly, set up the data validation, make it so your filter equation works off of whatever goes into your data validation. And this will make it very easy for people to find the information they need. So if you have any questions, send them to me at Donovan Science on Twitter, or um, that's really the easiest way to ask me questions. Have a great day.